Prem Singh Ji. You have just returned from Persia. Why don't you tell us about your trip? How was it? Your Majesty, the trip was good and the Emperor of Persia sends his greetings to you. The Emperor also fondly remembers Birbal. In fact, he has invited Birbal to come and stay as his guest for some time, as he enjoyed his company immensely the last time. So, Birbal, you seem to have acquired one more admirer, and that too, an Emperor. Thank you, Your Majesty. I enjoyed the Emperor's company too. He's a very wise man. Birbal, you seem to be very impressed with the Emperor of Persia. You think he's a better Emperor than I am? Your Majesty, I merely said I enjoyed his company and he's a wise man. I made no comparisons. Sir, why not make comparisons? Sukhdev Singh Ji, you have traveled to distant lands and empires. Tell us, which is the best ruled land that you have visited? Without a doubt, our empire is the best one, Your Majesty. Certainly, Your Majesty. I have been traveling all over our empire and have personally seen how happy the people are. That's right, Your Majesty. And why shouldn't they be happy? You are a just and a wise ruler. You do not impose heavy taxes on the people. You distribute so much wealth amongst the poor. Everybody feels lucky to have a ruler like you, Your Majesty. Our armies are strong. Each and every soldier of our army would lay down their lives without a moment's hesitation to defend our empire. You inspire such deep and strong loyalty amongst them. Your Majesty, I can bet anything that our empire is the best. There never has been and there never will be a better, just and a more powerful emperor than you. Yes, Your Majesty, I second that. You are the best. Yo, yo, you're, you're, you're the best, best Your Majesty. Majesty. Thank you. Thank you. Bimbal? You haven't said a word. What do you think? Your Majesty. Go on, Birbal. Speak up. Your Majesty, I don't believe ours is the perfect umpire or you are perfect either. Birbal, you seem to have made it a habit to contradict everybody, just to be different. And this is the limit. Yes, Birbal. If you don't agree that ours is the perfect empire, then tell us which is a better one. Your Majesty, I reiterate, you are certainly a good emperor, but you're not perfect. Just like any other human being, you too have flaws. That's the way God has made us human beings. This is an insult. How dare you openly insult the emperor? Birbal, if you don't think our empire is the best, and you don't think of me as the best emperor, then I don't want you to stay here. Please leave. I shall not tolerate anyone who openly insults me in my court just to be a little different. Your Majesty, I didn't mean to insult or offend you. I was merely trying to point out that nobody and no place is perfect. There is always room for improvement. First you insult the emperor and I empire. And now you patronize the emperor by saying he needs to improve? Birbal, I'm totally fed up with you. Please leave. As you wish, Your Majesty. Please don't let this upset you, Your Majesty. This time Birbal went too far trying to be different. You were right in asking him to leave. Yes, you're right. I shouldn't let this affect me. I always liked Birbal and thought him to be a very wise man. But he disappointed me. I was unfair to Birbal yesterday. I'm sure he is upset with me. I understand what he was trying to say yesterday. I shall ask him to come back and also present him with a nice gift. God. Go to Birbal's house and ask him to come to the court immediately.
Where is Birbal? Your Majesty, there was nobody at his house. The door was locked. Where could he have gone? I want you to go and find him. Find his servants and ask them. Then go to him and return to court with Birbal. Go on, hurry. Your Majesty, are you calling Birbal back? Yes. I made a mistake yesterday and asked Birbal to leave. As usual, he was being honest and I, I punished him for doing so. Yes? Why haven't you brought Birbal with you? Where is he? Your, your Majesty, I tried to find his servants and finally found one of them in the bazaar. He said that Birbal packed his bags and has left on a long journey. He didn't know where. He also said that he would be gone for a long time. Oh, I have deeply hurt my friend's feelings this time. That's why he left. Long live the Rambo! Long live the Rambo! Three months passed by and Birbal did not return. The emperor started missing his friend more and more. He became irritable, distracted and sad. Uh, Your Majesty? Yes, I am sorry. I feel so terrible for doing wrong with Birbal. And now he is gone. Your Majesty, why not send our messengers to different cities and to his relatives and friends' place with a message asking him to come back? No. I don't think he shall respond. I shall have to go personally and escort him back. I think I have deeply hurt him this time. Your Majesty, but how do we find out where he is? Yes, I have been thinking about it. He has several kings as friends and he must be staying with one of them. I shall send a message to all the kings which could only be understood by Birbal. Excellent, Your Majesty. That way, if any of the kings respond to your message, we shall know where Birbal is. Exactly. Now, what the message shall be, I'll tell you. I cannot understand this message either, Your Majesty. Birbal, can you understand this message from Emperor Akbar? My friend, I have fixed the marriage of the lakes in my city. Do ask the rivers of your kingdom to attend the wedding. Hmm. Yes, it is a most puzzling message, people. Do you understand what the Emperor is trying to say? Your Majesty, I think I understand what the Emperor is trying to say. We shall send a reply to him. Our rivers shall be delighted to attend the weddings of your lakes. Please ask the wells of your kingdom to stand at the gates of your city to receive them. Wonderful. This has to be Birbal. I shall leave for Persia immediately. Oh, yeah.
Long live Bieber! Long live Bieber! Long live Bieber!